Hello friends, I am Mohammad Babar and today we are going to discuss the middlewares in ASP.NET Core. Uh, we will cover all the aspects of middlewares. So without wasting time, uh, let's start and mastering the middleware components in ASP.NET Core. So let's start with the definition of middlewares. So middleware is a software <coughs> that acts as a bridge connecting different components or applications to ensure seamless communication. Middleware in ASP.NET Core is a modular and extensible component that participates in the processing of HTTP requests and responses. So it is basically arranged uh, in a pipeline allowing developers to customize the request handling process by adding, removing or reordering uh, middleware components. Uh, the components they have access to the uh, HTTP contacts enabling them to manipulate uh, the request and response and perform various tasks uh, such as authentication, logging errors, handling uh, and uh, some other uh, you can uh, add uh, middlewares so the middleware pipeline is a key architectural concept in asp.net core uh, providing flexibility and scalability in building web applications so let's talk about the middleware pipeline so the middleware pipeline is a series of components that process requests and responses okay so middlewares are executed in a specific order allowing uh, for modular and customizable request processing so uh, developers can add, remove or reorder middleware components to tailor the pipeline according to the application's need. Now well, let's talk about some uh, key characteristics of middleware. So uh, there are three characteristics. First is the reusability. So middleware components can be reused across different parts of the uh, application or even in different applications. Uh, let's talk about the modularity. So each middleware component uh, focuses on specific tasks, uh, making it easier to understand and maintain. So let's talk about some uh, customization uh, characteristics. Developers have the flexibility to customize the middleware uh, pipeline to meet specific requirements. So these are uh, some major uh, characteristics of middlewares. So let's talk about the uh, anatomy of middleware. So middlewares component consists of a delegate that handles request and response. In ASP.NET Core, uh, uh, it consists uh, middleware consists of classes uh, with an invoke or invoke async method. These components receive an HTTP context object uh, representing the request and response. So developers can modify the context and uh, call the next middleware in the pipeline using the request delegate. So middleware components are added in the configure method executing in the order they are registered so they provide um, a modular modular way to handle requests and responses allowing customization and extension of the application's behavior so we have uh, basically three request delegates uh, one is the app.use uh, method uh, which will process the middlewares in a in a sequence or order then uh, we will uh, use app.next to uh, end the pipeline middle middleware pi pipeline so the last middleware will uh, call is a app.next so we have also a app.map method so let's uh, discuss an uh, example of the uh, middleware so it's a basically uh, logging mid uh, middleware okay uh, so the logging middleware is basically log information about the incoming requests and outgoing responses so this is this is you uh, you, uh, you can say that you can see that here is the logging and we are invoking uh, that method and passing the http context here so we are logging the request here and uh, the invoke method is where where the logic where the logging logic resides where you can see here so we have a startup class uh, that configures middleware by adding it to the uh, pipeline using app.use middleware okay and we are passing the class logging uh, middleware <coughs> So the last, the, uh, the order of registration in the configure method determines the order of execution in the pipeline. So 
this is the example and let's talk about some common uh, components of the middleware so the first is the static files middleware these are some common basically uh, i have uh, concluded here so uh, the first static file middleware handles uh, serving static files uh, you can say that html css or images etc without involving the application so you can say see the here app dot use static files so uh, you can uh, register your in your startup class so this simple uh, configuration enables the static file middleware uh, it allows the application to serve static files uh, from the uh, ww root directory so number two is the authentication uh, middleware uh, that manages uh, user authentication and authorization so we have uh, you you can simply use app dot use authentication in the middleware pipelines uh, for adding this middleware so use authentication uh, adds a, uh, authentication capability to the pipeline so the middleware is crucial for securing access to protected resources in the application okay uh, so number three is the routing middleware uh, that ma matches incoming requests to controller actions okay we can define here uh, our default routing as well so number four is the error handling middleware so if that captures and handles application errors okay so this is the uh, app dot use exception handler we can route uh, our exceptions to that specific page uh, when we define slash home slash error so it doesn't exposes your uh, exceptions it uh, will route you to that page so use exception handler configures the middleware to handle exceptions and redirect users to a specified error page okay uh, let's uh, talk about some uh, execution order of the middlewares so middlewares are executed in the order they are added to the pipeline okay so the order of middleware registration is essential for proper request processing the uh, developers can uh, use the uh, use extension methods to add middleware components to the pipeline so these are some execution orders so let's uh, conclude uh, our um, middleware topic so asp.net code middlewares uh, is a modular customizable and ordered series of components that process http requests and responses so it acts as a bridge facilitating um, uh, communication between different parts of an application so developers can modify uh, the http context in each middleware allowing for uh, customization and extension of uh, application behavior the pipeline executes uh, middleware in a specific uh, order uh, promoting flexibility and a pluggable architecture so example include logging authentication and error handling middlewares so overall middleware enhances the modularity scalability and maintainability of asp.net core applications so this is the basically whole uh, you can say that uh, of uh, uh, of uh, middlewares in asp.net core so please hit uh, like and subscribe button uh, to stay tuned with us okay so thank you very much guys